Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Chainlink and its token Link. I'm going to break it down in a way that it's easy to understand, especially if you're new to crypto. First we're going to talk about the product and then we're going to look at the price trends and try to figure out where it might be headed next. We'll use some basic divergences techniques to help with that. And if you're not familiar with divergences, no worries. I've got you covered in a video that explains all of this. Remember that if you like my video and if you find it helpful, go ahead and like, share and subscribe to the channel. Your support really helps me out. All right. Let's jump right in. Let's talk about Chainlink or Link. It's one of those crypto projects that does something really cool, but can be tricky to wrap your head around at first. So let me break it down in a way that it makes sense, even if you're new to all of this. Okay, imagine smart contracts. These are like digital agreements on the blockchain that automatically execute when certain conditions are met. They are super useful, but they have a big limitation. They can't really interact with the outside world on their own. They need data like the current price of an asset or the result of a sports game to do their thing. But where do they get this data from? This is where Chainlink comes in. Chainlink is basically a bridge between smart contracts and the real world. It's a decentralized network of oracles. These are like messengers that go out in the real world, collecting data from various sources, bring it back to the blockchain and then hand it over to smart contracts. The cool thing about Chainlink is that it's decentralized. So that basically means that no one company or entity has the control of it. That makes the data more reliable because it's coming from multiple sources. It reduces the risk of any one source messing things up. It was launched in 2017, so it's an OG, and its mission has been to make smart contracts way more useful by letting them access the real world data securely. Whether the context is DeFi, that needs accurate price feed, insurance contracts, verifying real-world events or gaming platforms that require random number generation. Well, Chainlink makes it all possible. Now, what makes Chainlink really unique compared to its competitors, it's the level of trust and reliability it offers. Because it's decentralized, it doesn't rely on a single point of failure. And that makes the data it provides less vulnerable to manipulation. Also, the introduction of link staking, a feature where node operators lock up link tokens as a collateral, adds an extra layer of security. If a node operator tries to cheat by providing wrong data, they can lose some of their staked link, which motivates everyone to play fairly. So that's how the link token fits into all of this. It's basically the fuel that powers the Chainlink network. Node operators earn link from providing accurate data, and they can also stake link to improve the network security. Before we dive into the price details, let's talk about Chainlink's market stats to give you a sense of where it stands right now. As of now, Chainlink has a market cap of about $6.9 billion, which is pretty significant. It places it at the 14th place in terms of popularity among all cryptocurrencies. There are currently about 608 million Link tokens in circulation, and on average, people tend to hold on to their Link for about 84 days before selling it or trading it. That suggests that Link is not a quick flip for most investors. When it comes to its price performance, Link has seen some ups and downs like most cryptocurrencies. 
in the past week or two, it's actually up by 4.3% and 6% respectively. Over the past year, Link has made pretty impressive comeback. It's climbed to 86%. However, it's still quite a bit below its all-time high of $53, which means that there might be some room for growth if we can imagine that it goes back there for the next rally, for example. All right, let's take a look at what's new in the price trends. This is Chainlink chart on a weekly candle time increment. I love to see the overall trend here. It just communicates like a signature. All I need to know about the crypto at first glance. I see that Chainlink had two major rush in price. The first one being the last rally of 2021 and the recent one being the halving event. I can also see that when it dipped from the last high of the last rally, the dip on the MACD was a lot more dramatic than on the price. I wonder why. But it ended up creating a massive divergence that has been building up since. This divergence is basically telling me that Chainlink will go flirt with its all-time high very soon, probably during the next rally. Link would be reaching back to what it went to. There's absolutely no doubt possible. Let me show you how we can see this. First, let's trace a horizontal line from the second low of the MACD line. Then let's note where that line intersects previously to the first low of that divergence. And let's trace a vertical line just right there. All right, now let's note where it meets the price line. Okay, that's $46, not quite the all-time high, but pretty close, about four times the current price as of today. Let's target this region here and let's open a daily candle chart because I'm pretty sure we will find some cool and more current price action that will be interesting to see. Here we have a lot to note. Let's first list the main bearish divergences we can see. You can pause on your own time to explore how they affected the price right after. Let's now list all the bullish ones. It's nice to have a vision of all of them, but I'm going to be focusing on some specific ones right now. These are two divergences that have yet to materialize. The question is, which one is going to happen and which one is going to happen first? Okay, let's talk about them. We have a hidden divergence with the red one. That means that the price will continue on its way down. And we have a reversal bullish divergence that is bigger, that happens in a larger time frame. We will probably have to go down a bit more though, to the price target of $10. But wait, actually the red divergence, I believe, is stronger than it looks right now. So let's trace that. It goes back to the previous high. So in fact, the target price is more around $5. All of this should happen pretty soon, I would say before November. But eventually it will go back up to the price target of our bullish divergence as well. Let's calculate that. All right, this is not super impressive. And the problem is that it went close enough, then we can almost consider this divergence materialized maybe when it reached uh, $12 in August 24. So in my opinion, we're still um, going down, guys. It will get worse before it gets better. Sorry, we're still going to go down a little bit, but hey, Take the positive side of things. This is actually a beautiful entry for the late holders. Imagine, let it go to $5 and then buy and then wait for the whole time high again. You will be close to making about 10x your investment. Okay, guys, that's all that I have for now. So I want you to remember that this is crypto. And you always need to be extra cautious when we talk about crypto. Even what I say, don't take it as facts. Always do your own research. I can make mistakes. And my trading strategies are never guaranteed. So always also have a great risk management plan. You're welcome to comment if you see something I've missed or if you disagree. 
or if you agree with my predictions. Your feedback is always welcome. Let me know also if you want me to dive into a specific crypto for you. I'll be happy to do so. If you find this video helpful, like, share and subscribe to get regular updates. Until next time, keep an eye on the trends, stay curious and let's navigate these crypto waves together.